For green lovers, the Reva is a symbol of pride. For technology enthusiasts, it's a dream car. I was on my way in my car uh, for a test drive of the Reva and I remember it was a really bumpy road and I was feeling a little nauseous because of the number of bumps on that road and uh, I got into the Reva, took it out for a spin, went down that same road and it felt like it was a different road altogether. It was so smooth and we just sailed through that same street and uh, it just amazed me at how smooth the Reva was even though it's such a little car. Three words in which I would describe the Reva. Okay, number one, technologically very advanced. Okay, number two, the sheer ease and convenience of driving. And number three, that it's so easy to drive. It's so easy to drive and so reliable that you would rather, you know, in a, in a tricky situation, you'd rather pick up the Reva and go out rather than any other car. The core of all of this was what we call was our energy management system. And this management system monitored and controlled everything in the car in real time and looked at optimizing everything. We also went, the, went ahead and tried to create and store data on board. And so all our cars today had over three years of data on board. And you could know how a customer drives in Norway, in, in cold temperatures or in India. And this was incredible because you actually saw what the customer told you, but you also told you could correlate it with what the car did. And by combining this piece of information, you could innovate and really change technology. The net of all of this was affordable electric cars driven by technologies, ideas and insights. Driving an electric car is an altogether new, different experience. Firstly, uh, tanking up a Reva, you can do in your house. You don't have to go to a pump. Then I found that if you wanted service, somebody comes to your house in a Reva with a laptop and one fancy looking spanner. And it takes him two and a half hours to service your Reva in your garage. I mean, it's so convenient. This is amazing actually. The first time it happened, I was uh, dumbstruck because uh, it's a completely new concept because your conventional car you have to call these service guys and they'll come and pick pick it up from your house take it there and the end of the, the day you uh, they'll charge you reva's design and the telematics delight some but for others it's all about the sheer pleasure of driving it you know i uh, i love cars i also love technology and in a sense, an electric car is the digital car. Everything is software controlled. Uh, with the Reva I, I just, you know, appreciate that, it's, that it really sounds like a digital car, really. You know, it's silent. Uh, when I drive around, there's no noise at all. I love not having that. And then when you push it, it sounds amazing. It sounds like a spaceship. You know, when I first you know, take people around in my electric car, uh, they're amazed by what it sounds like because you, you never would anticipate that it sounds you know, some, like something so different. The Reva was actually designed on a very unique space frame structure seen more in performance race cars or probably in airplanes. And this creates a very lightweight structure but it cocoons the entire passenger compartment in the case of a collision. In surrounding that we put a very unique dental body panels. We, fought, we found that most cars in India after a couple of years had dents and skimishes all over. And if we created a next generation technology that allowed you to be absolutely dent proof, we believe that this was a very important customer feature. On top of that, we put batteries right under the seat, which created a very low center of gravity. Think of, think of those dolls as children that you hit and came back to you. That's the kind of effect you had in the car. So although it was very small, it ended up being very safe and very maneuverable in city driving. The best part of Reva, um, the technology that I enjoy it. Actually, no other cars can give you any indication if anything goes wrong in the car suddenly break down and it just stops. 
so you know you keep wondering which part of the car is damaged or what has happened to the car you have no idea about it it gives me all indications it keeps telling me if my car needs service it tells me if my car needs distilled water for the batteries it tells me so if it needs battery it gives me indication it keeps you know as how many kilometers you can go it keeps telling me everything it's like feedback you know my car is talking to me that's the way that's the feeling what i get So you know you're in a space today of electric vehicles that's very dynamic. Think of your laptops, think of your computers, and see what's happened in the last five years. Well, 70% of electric cars is batteries, electronics, computers, and all of this that goes in. So the changes you're going to see in electric cars are going to be re very relevant, like you've seen in other consumer electronics. So what we try to see is how do we create vehicles that would be open architecture, so that tomorrow future battery technologies could come, performance upgrades could come in. And I think this is very relevant. So actually, customers who probably bought cars in the past will probably have better cars in the future. And that's that's not possible to have in regular internal combustion engines, which continuously deteriorate. Right? So it's almost like plugging in a new hard drive or plugging in a new processor. And that's where I think electrics come in. But to do that, it was very important to create everything open architecture. And Reva's new architecture platform enables such uh, improvements in the vehicle and really giving a good consumer value as a result of that. For automobiles, the future is electric. But what's the next step? Well, I will keep surprising you for sure. Thank you.